Sketchbooks can feel intimidating to beginner artists because the format makes it feel serious. Drawing in a book can create the expectations that every page needs to be refined. This makes sense logically because it does feel quite official, especially if you like buying fancy sketchbooks. But we can change this. Sketchbooks should be a place of fun experimentation and I think there are a few key mindset shifts that can get us there. One trick that can make sketchbooking a lot more fun is by thinking of each page as a visual diary entry. Instead of seeing each page as a final essay that you are presenting to the world, think of it as a reflection of a simple moment. This made drawing in my sketchbook much easier for me because it made it about self-expression and reflection instead of presenting myself to the world. I don't have to worry about any one single page because it's just a small piece in a larger puzzle. I also like to write in my sketchbook so they feel more personal. I'll write down thoughts that I'm having and what is going on in my life in that moment. I like to think of these as messages to my future self. I assume I will be flipping through these sketchbooks in about like 10 years and it will be nice to remember where I was at while I was doing those drawings. One major upside of thinking this way is that it's pretty safe to assume that I will improve my art in 10 years, especially if I stay consistent with it. This means that I don't really have to worry about improving my art over the course of a single sketchbook. This reduction in pressure also makes it way easier to enjoy the moment and just draw. Always focusing on improving can really hold us back. In terms of writing, you can use some self-reflective questions and then use that as a starting point to your sketching. Some questions you can ask yourself are, what is something that has been capturing my interest this week? What small beautiful moments that I experienced in the past few days? And what do I want to explore in my art practice? I've written out a page of these types of questions that you can grab for free on the site. It will be linked below. You can also ask yourself much tougher questions about the challenges that you are going through. The sketchbook can become a friend that you turn to when you need a place to spill your thoughts and feelings. Once you've done a bit of writing, you can meditate on those thoughts while you just doodle. Remember that these are just diary entries, so the drawings don't have to be official or refined. They can be fun experimentations, just your hand moving and you exploring the page. One reason you might hesitate to approach your sketchbook this way is an expectation that you should be able to show the book to others. You may have consumed a lot of sketchbook tours that have created an unhealthy image of what having a sketchbook means. I will make a separate video talking about the problems with sketchbook tours in the future. You actually don't have to show your drawings to anyone. You don't have to post them online. When friends ask to see them, you can just say, I actually prefer to keep my drawings to myself. And if they can't respect that, then maybe don't be friends with those people. You deserve to have spaces of privacy and a sketchbook can easily become that if you are willing to set those boundaries. You can also keep your drawing practice a secret. This can be especially useful if you are someone who is a perfectionist and someone with a strong inner critic. You learn those ways of being because you are used to performing for other people and you can decide to put those aspects of yourself on pause while you draw. You don't have to unlearn those tendencies in all aspects of your life. Just let those aspects take a nap while you draw for 20 minutes. It won't be easy at first, but it's worth trying. If you are someone who struggles to draw regularly, then this might be the biggest issue. You might be holding back on your creative side because your critical side is preventing you from enjoying the experience of drawing. I lost 10 years of creative expression to my critical side. The reason I make these videos is because I'm hoping I can stop others from making the same mistakes. I was too critical of my own work to really let my creative voice flow naturally. This is a completely preventable problem, by the way. You aren't stuck with this way of being. It is possible to fall in love with your creative process and deeply enjoy it. Sometimes you might channel difficult feelings, but it will feel fulfilling. It can have deep meaning and it starts by making visual diary entries in your sketchbook. Remember that something can be really important while not being serious. Let's treat our art practice with importance. Let's make time for it and set boundaries around how we share the work, but do it with lightness. Be gentle with yourself. Be loving and kind to yourself. Some of you will cringe at the thought of doing this, but do you really want to be rough with yourself in every aspect of your life? I'm not asking you to change this anywhere outside of the art, but try it with the art practice. Try to give yourself credit when you do draw, even when drawings turn out bad by your standards. Give yourself credit for putting in the effort. Pat yourself on the back for taking the time to draw. A part of you knows that this might work, Part of you knows that it's worth trying, but there will be resistance. So please try it for the sake of all of us. We need more people who are in touch with their creative side and come back here and let us know how it goes. If you want to explore your creative side with me, I have a creativity course that is linked below. And I also have tons of free beginner drawing tutorials over on the site, but remember, you don't need a teacher. 
The art will guide you if you let it. So open your arms to it and accept the art as it is. I'll see you again soon.